Hey guys, I got a pretty cool update for you. So in this update, which is actually for both Pixelcade LED and LCD marquees, we've got MAME outputs. So what does that mean? What is a MAME output? So on certain classic games, actually just a few, but certain games had extra LED lights or lamps that would light up when you reach certain parts in the game. So for example, this is Gorf, and Gorf had these six different lamps that would correspond to your rank. So the first level was Space Cadet. So by tapping into MAME outputs, we can do something cool on Pixelcade. So this, this example, when I'm playing Gorf, I can actually change the Pixelcade marquee to match the level one. And then I can, if you have a Pixelcade dot, I can display the rank on the Pixelcade dot display as well. So again, this works on both LED and LCD. Let me give you a quick demo. This release just has four games right now. So Gorf, Qbert, Spy Hunter, which kind of works. I haven't fully tested that one in Chase HQ. So watch what happens when I start the game. It's gonna change the marquee and tell me the level I'm on, which this one is Space Cadet. I've got a Pixel K dot, it's gonna display that as well. So let me see if I can clear this level and show you what happens when I get to the next level. Okay, so now watch this. This is gonna to change to the next level. Now we'll change two, if you have a pixel cade dot. There we go, two stars. Okay, so that was Gorf. That will change as you go to the next levels. Let's do Qbert real quick. Hopefully P-Dubs is watching. This is his favorite game. Hello, I'm Aaron Bob. All right, so as I do Qbert, Qbert originally had a knocker. So when Qbert or Coily would go off the cliff, it would trigger a relay and that would trigger the knocker. So I'm gonna tie into that on Pixelcade. So watch what happens when I go off. I'm gonna play a little animation, show a little thing there, and then it'll go back to the normal marquee. If I can get Coily to go off the cliff. Okay, next I want to show you Chase HQ. So go ahead and launch this one. Now watch what happens to the marquee once I get in range of the uh, culprit. Okay, so you see the marquee turn there with the All right, so once the light goes off here, watch this, this will go back to the normal marquee. So that will now go back, and we're back to normal. Okay, so here's Spy Hunter. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the controls set up on this machine, so I haven't fully tested this one yet. But let me just show you kind of what it's supposed to do. So if I start a game, watch the marquee, so it's gonna to change to the weapon that was selected. So in this case, the machine gun is selected, which I can hit here, which is in white. And then as different weapons come up in theory, that would change here. But again, I can't test that, test that one right now. Plays that little animation there. And then it'll go back to normal marquee. Now if Qbert also falls off the cliff, it'll do the same thing. So that is a meme output for Qbert. Okay, so here is Gorf. So watch what happens when the game starts. So it's basically gonna tell me my rank. So right now I'm on the first level, which is Space Cadet. And if I can make it to the next level, I'll show you what happens when I make it that far. Oh 
Okay, now watch this because I'm going to go to the second level. Watch what happens here. All right, it's the second level. So keep going and I'll just keep going until you reach the higher levels. Once we start chasing the car, this is going to flash like a police siren. Okay, so see now the marquee is flashing, the police lights. As soon as the sequence is done, the lights will start stop flashing. Okay, so now the lights have stopped flashing. So you get the idea there. Last game, let's try Spy Hunter. Now this one, I think on this machine, I don't have the control set up, so this doesn't fully work. Um, but you see here, it will show the various weapons that come up. So this is the weapons van. Yeah, so anyway. That's the idea with Spy Hunter is when you have different weapons, it'll light up on the marquee. So if someone has Spy Hunter set up, definitely let me know. I'd love to see how that works. But that's, oh yeah, so, so now the missiles are there. Um, this does, by the way, require a new version of Pixelcade. So to get this, you need to uh, run the installer again. So reinstall the Pixelcade software for both LED or LCD and run the artwork updater because we did some special artwork just like this, just for this release. So, hope you guys like it.